what's up guys welcome back calendar with droid life and we realized the other day when going through our android 5.0 lollipop feature highlights that we hadn't yet talked about chrome and sort of the differences in how chrome tabs are handled essentially they're coupled into your app switcher which may or may not be a good idea i guess it kind of depends on how you use chrome so i wanted to show you in essence how it works uh, talk a little bit why i don't necessarily want to use it this way um but overall this is this is the idea so instead of um, just having Chrome in your app switcher as an option to switch to, you now can make every single one of your tabs appear as individual apps, if you will, in your app switcher. So it's kind of a task switcher then, if you will, in Lollipop. So as you can see, I've got a restaurant listing up here. Uh, you'll notice, and again, this comes default on Lollipop. You have to turn it off if you don't like this. You notice up top, I no longer have a little box up here that tells me that I have other tabs open. There's also no longer a count that tells me uh, how many tabs are open either. Uh, and I'm telling you right now, I have multiple tabs open and you don't know that. And I also can't use that swipe gesture to jump between different tabs. So that's gone. So no tab count, can't swipe between tabs. So two things right there, I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, but this is how it works. So I've got my tab open and I hit the app switcher and uh, you'll see I've got some other tabs open here. So like, here's Droid Life. So I could jump into Droid Life again. Still can't tell what's going on up there, but I could jump in and here's an incognito window I have open. So doing a little incognito shopping. Uh, here's ESPN, that's also open. So I have all these tabs open, um, but they're a part of the app switcher because this setting has been turned on. Uh, so it's kind of a different experience. Now, this could be kind of handy because like, let's say I'm in Google Play and look up an app and I'm messing around or I update some apps and then I you know, hit my app switcher and I wanna jump right back into Droid Life, that specific tab, I can now do that. Instead of going to Chrome and flipping through tabs to find the Droid Life tab, I can now just do that directly. So, you know, there's a benefit there. Um, I guess my problem is that I'm so used to having um, the box up here that shows me how many tabs. So I can either tap that and jump into tabs or I can use this gesture up here to switch between tabs. You can see if I swipe from the left or right, it's not like that that gesture's come back or anything. So uh, the basic idea here is that tabs now become individual tasks or apps in the app switcher when you are in Lollipop. So again, I'll let you guys decide if that's for you or not. Uh, in order to turn it off or on, you jump into the action overflow menu, go into settings, and you will see an option that says merge tabs and apps. So if you toggle that off, hit okay, we'll let Chrome refresh, it pops back up and yay, back to the, uh, the uh, old way of doing things. So I have my tab switcher button there. Um, I can switch between tabs by just jumping in through here. Uh, much, much easier and makes a lot more sense to me, but hey, maybe there are some other uses I'm not figuring out in the whole app switcher combined thing. So that's how you get it back to the default view. Uh, if you wanna play around with it, again, settings, merge tabs and apps, and then Chrome will refresh, and then it becomes a part of the app switcher. So there we are, all of our tabs. Well, nope, just that one tab. Uh, it looks like it closed everything else. So if we open new tabs, they will show up in there. So you guys tell me what you think about that, but that's basically how Chrome is handled in Android 5.0 Lollipop. We are Droid Life. We're out. Peace.